friends welcome to our channel today we are going to see the mcq related with soil mechanics the first question hydrometer readings are corrected for option a temperature correction option b meniscus correction option c dispersing agent correction option d temperature meniscus and dispersing agent corrections so the correct answer is option d temperature meniscus and dispersing agent corrections okay so we have to do all those three corrections Next question, the ultimate consolidation settlement of the structure resisting on the soil, option A decreases with the increases in the initial voids ratio, option B decreases with the decreases in the plastic limit, option C increases with the increases in the initial void ratio, option D increases with the decreases in the porosity of the soil. Okay, so the ultimate consolidation settlement is uh, on resting soil, option C increases with the increases in initial void ratio. Next question, the angle of internal friction is least for option A, angular grained so loose soil, option B, angular grained dense sand, option C, round grained loose sand, option D, clays. So the angle of internal friction is least for clays. Next question, dispersed type of soil structure is arrangement comprising particles having option A, face to face a parallel orientation, option B, edge to edge orientation, option C, edge to face orientation, option D, all of the above. So the correct answer is option A, face to face or parallel orientation. So whenever the options come all of the above, so, so we are desired go for the D option all of the above. So in sometimes the all of the above is the not the answer. Okay, so we have to choose the correct answer. So in this question, the correct answer is face to face or parallel orientation. Next question, the neutral stress in the soil mass is option A, force per neutral area, option B, force per effective area, option C, stress taken up by the pore water, option D, stress taken up by the solid particles. So the correct answer is option C, stress taken by the pore water. Next question, the coefficient of compressibility of soil is the ratio of option A, stress to strain, option B, strains to stress, option C, stress to settlement, option D, rate of loading to the settlement. So the correct answer is option B, strain to stress. Next question, a clay subjected to the pressure in the excess to its present overburden is said to be option A, pre-compressed, option B, pre-consolidated, option C, over-consolidated, option D, all the above. So in this question, the correct answer is option D, all the above. Next question, physical properties of the permanent which influence permeability are option A, viscosity only, option B, unit weight only, option C, both viscosity and unit weight, option D, none of the above. The correct answer is option C, both viscosity and unit weight. Next question, Rankine's theory of active earth pressure assumes option A, soil mass is homogeneous, dry and coarserless, option B, ground surface is plain which may be horizontal or inclined, option C, back of the wall is vertical and smooth, option D, all the above. So in this question, the correct answer is option D, all the above. Next question, for testing a yes, saturated clay for shear strain, the right. test recommended is option A, direct shear test, option B, triaxial compression test test, option C, unconfined compression test, option D, all the above. So the correct answer is option C, unconfined compression test. Next question, the ratio of volume of air voids to the volume of total voids is known as option A, air content, option B, percentage of air voids, option C, percentage of voids, option D, porosity. The correct answer is option A, air content. Next question, which one of the following clays behaves like a dense sand? Option A, over-consolidated clay with the high over-consolidation ratio, option B, over-consolidation clay and with the low over consolidation ratio, option C normally consolidated clay, option D under consolidated clay. The correct answer is option A over consolidated clay with high over consolidation ratio. Next question, during seepage the, through the soil 
direction of seepage is always option A parallel to eco potential lines, option B perpendicular to streamlines, option C perpendicular to eco potential line, option D none of the above. The correct answer is option C perpendicular to the eco potential lines. Next question the seepage force in the soil is option A perpendicular to the eco potential line, option B proportional to the exit gradient, option C proportional to the head loss, option D all the above. The correct answer is option D all the above. Next question The property of soil which allows it to be deformed rapidly without rupture, elastic rebound, and also the volume change is known as option A porosity. Option B plasticity, Option C permeability, Option D ductility. The correct answer is Option B plasticity. Next question Failure of stability of slopes generally occurs along Option A slip plane, Option B a horizontal surface, Option C a curved surface, Option D all of the surfaces. So the correct answer is Option C a curved surface. Next question Soils containing organic matters, option A, are of spongy nature, option B, swell with decrease of moisture, option C, shrink with increase of moisture content, option D, none of the above. So the correct answer is option A, are of spongy nature. Next question, buoyant unit weight equals to the saturated density, option A, multiplied by unit weight of water, option B, divided by the unit weight of water, Option C plus unit weight of water, option D minus unit weight of water. Okay, so the correct answer is option D minus unit weight of water. Next question, Skempton's pore pressure coefficient B for the saturated soil is option A 1, option B 0, option C between 0 and 1, option D greater than 1. So the correct answer is option A 1. Next question, the method of slice is applicable to option A, homogeneous soil, option B, stratified soils, option C, saturated soil, option D, non-uniform slopes. So the correct answer is option A, homogeneous soil. Next question, the angle that Coulomb's failure envelope makes with the horizontal is called option A, cohesion, option B, angle of internal friction, option C, angle of repose, Option D, none of the above. The correct answer is option A, cohesion. Next question, the compression index of the soil, option A, decreases with the increases in the liquid limit. Option B, increases with an increases in the liquid limit. Option C, decreases with the increases in the plastic limit. Option D, is not related with the plastic limit. So the correct answer is option B, increases with the increases in the liquid limit. Next question, if the coefficient of active earth pressure Ka is 1 divided by 3, the coefficient of passive earth pressure Kp is option A 1 by 3, option B 2 by 3, option C 1, option D 3. The correct answer is option D 3 because 1 by Ka equal to Kp. Next question, the soil moisture driven by of heat is called option A free water, option B heteroscopic water, option C, gravity water, option D, none of the above. The correct answer is option B, heteroscopic water. So again we will see in next video. Thank you.